All right, y'all. Today, we are doing two things. I'm going to be replacing the seals on the car. I got a bag of jets here. And I also have a CRF 230 exhaust. And we're going to be putting this on the 83 200E big red well, i've seen on two youtubers channels that they had used this exhaust on their 200e and as i was going through the, the reviews on them i seen that it's been a couple of 200x people that have used it as well now they have said that it requires a little bit of modification i think like something has to be a little bit and may have to take out of here what in the world it may have to cut an inch off of something for a line up but for ninety-nine dollars for a full exhaust I think I can do what is it holding on to I think I can do a little bit of modifications for a hundred dollars. I mean, it's, it's not much well, so complaining that I can do for a hundred bucks. This looks pretty good. I don't know how long that color is gonna last, but it looks good. <laughs> oh! So, I mean, it muffles. This is the header. And the reviews say that as soon as it gets hot, it starts turning colors. And then we have the mid pipe here. So, I mean, I don't know what it's made of, but it's full of crap. But it looks nice. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull the car ball off because the throttle, well, it's not as sticky as what it was. Like I said, but it was leaking gas the last time I put, um, when I did the test ride, it was leaking gas. So I'm gonna pull it off, do the seals in it, check everything, clean it out real good. And then we're gonna pull the header off. I've been soaking those bolts in hopes that we don't snap one. And then we're gonna see what it takes to get this thing to work. Because out of all the videos, I've never seen anybody actually install it. So if you have a 200 EX, this exhaust should work for you. So let's see how that works. Got the carb out. Um, the needle was on the third clip from the top. And the manual says it should be on the second clip from the top. So that's what I did on there. And then the stock jet below 5,000 feet was supposed to be a 90. I had a 100 jet and 105. And I put the 105 in there. So if anything, it'll be, it'll be a little fat. But, you know, it'll be more of a safe side than it running lean. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to throw the carb back on and start playing with the exhaust. The only other thing I did is going to be the new uh, fuel bowl gasket. And that's really it. I'm not going to touch anything else uh, on the car. I might put, if this is the O-ring for the drain, I might switch that out. But other than that, I'm not using anything else in this kit at this moment. Carb is on. The little boot thing is on. So now let's take, well, let's try to take these bolts off so we get the hair to pipe off and hope these jokers don't break off. Okay, that's going to be for a bad time. Oh, seem to be coming. Oh, the whole stud is spinning in the head. 
Well, now I wish I had some more studs to put in. Because the whole stud is spinning out. Hmm. I wonder if I should just get some more studs. Or if I should just put that back in. Alright, let's see if this other one <clears throat> is going to come loose. I wonder if I have some some head studs somewhere. Am I losing it or tightening it? It ain't feeling good. Oh, was that a break? No, it wasn't a break. Okay. Woo! Shoot, boy, I thought I broke the doggone exhaust stud off. Oh. Did nothing break, so I'll take that as a W. All right, then that just slides right on out, and this is the only exhaust that it had. That was it. So that compared to the new one is actually shaped almost identical. That almost has the exact same shape. That's telling me that Honda did not change a whole lot throughout the years. So, let's stick this on. Let's see where it falls. And let's see what we're going to do with the rest of the exhaust. take it easy on these exhaust studs I may uh, order some and replace them but I'm gonna leave this kind of loose that way we have some wiggle to our jiggle but I want to have it tight enough where it's gonna be about where it's going to be about where it's going to live. Alright. So with the wheel off. You can see that the exhaust is running right there. We have changed plans. Um, I'm going to attempt. I don't know what kind of material this is. Um, but I mean I got the handy dandy Harbor Freight Titanium. Um, I'm not welding it back on the exact same way that it was cut off. It's clocked a little bit differently. And what I'm going to end up doing is mount the muffler to the same location as the fender mount. And then I'm going to furthermore cut this pipe down, probably like right there to the bend. I have some flexible exhaust tubing coming. And then that flexible exhaust tubing will basically go from here around or through and connect to the exhaust that's coming down. I'm trying to make this work. Since I already cut it, you know, I can't send it back. I'm going to throw some tacks on this and do my terrible booger welding you know, that I do on stuff. But as long as it's strong, I really don't care. Hmm. Oh, right. I, I was working on 200. I did the brakes. I did the chain. And I went to go tension the chain. And guess what? No brake tensioner. So normally you would go, oh, not a big deal. Back the screw out, put a tensioner on it, and tension it. Well, the screw won't back out and it feels like it's cross thread so the only way I can see to get the screw out is to remove this cover right here but I can't remove that cover unless I take out the axle Wheel, 
I see it moving, but I see the, oh! <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, this bitch is heavy. And just like that, we have the tensioner bolt out and the threads don't look that good. Once the exhaust is done, the next time we come back, this should be all together ready to go on a ride hopefully all right youtube people so the amazon tensioner has came in uh i found a spare bolt and a probably a little bit too big um lock washer in my pile so i'm going to get that together get the axle in and i did get my flex pipe in and just like I'd hoped it slips right over top of the header that goes into the muffler it slides into but it won't slide into this end but this end is kind of crimped a little bit so I'm thinking that if I cut it right here in the middle that should be the same inside diameter as the part that goes to the muffler so that should be fine go ahead and get the axle back together Get the brakes back on. I'm gonna button up the back, get the chain tension, get back to ground zero, and then start working on this exhaust. And I also found out that I have some leaks in this tire. It's a couple of spots around the bead that has um, some small leaks. So at some point, I'm going to break the bead and clean it up real good. Maybe get some of that bead sealer and slap it on there. And then we should call that good. This has been a long video for absolutely no reason. But when you're working on stuff, stuff like this happens. So and you get derailed and go around the world. So I got to struggle. You got to see me struggle. I'll be back. And hopefully we should be ready to ride. Oh, and I found something else. I think the bolt that holds down the gas tank is actually broke inside of there. So I need to figure out a way to anchor down the gas tank now because I can't get inside of that. So yay for another day, another project, but not today. We got the exhaust on the 200E. I do need to order a header gasket. We got the exhaust on, it's fitting good. The flex pipe is doing its job. Getting that bend is right. That $10 saved me a bunch of headache of trying to figure out angles and stuff with the hard pipe. So everything looks good. So I'm going to throw a little bit of gas in the car. And we can see what this bad girl sounds like. Um, I'm not sure what to do with mic placement to get like the better sound. Maybe I'll take it and just like put it on the floor right under the muffler. So hopefully like it won't get blown out. But this is going to be a, a trial and error type deal uh, with this mic. But I do want to get y'all the best sound and accurate sound. All right. Let's see what we got.
So hopefully, hopefully that sounded good. It sounds really, really good. It sounds really, really good. Um, it definitely sounds differently than my 125, uh, just an eBay muffler on it. I think it's quieter than my 125 with the eBay muffler with the baffle. I think it's actually quieter. So I can't wait to ride this thing here. I can't wait. So hopefully in the video, hopefully that didn't sound too blowed out. Um, but yeah, just getting getting muffler clips is going to just take a little bit of trial and error. Hopefully that was a good position. I will find out. I will adjust the audio levels. So hopefully it isn't just peaking the entire time. But yeah, this will be it for this video. I'm sure it's probably long enough with the issues we had with the uh, the chain tensioner and stuff. So next video, we will be going on a ride. Um, hopefully it's tomorrow. Right now, it is actually raining. I don't know if y'all can hear that. So hopefully tomorrow is supposed to be nice. Uh, I'll probably won't even put the back on it. I'll just throw the seat on it, throw some gas in the reserve, put like a zip tie or something on it, and take it for a ride. And I do need to get a exhaust gasket because it is leaking a little bit. And come to find out, the exhaust gasket for this 83200E is the exact same exhaust gasket for my 2400EX. And I think I also need a carburetor rebuild kit. So I'll be hitting up uh, 223 cycles because gas flows out the overflow for whatever reason. And I will see y'all on the next one when we go on the first ride. Kind of like, you know, a little mini rejuvenation. So I'll see y'all next go around. Think, build, and most importantly, enjoy. Peace.